this calculation to calculate the starting resistance, for example, 2.6, a 15 kilowatt, 375 volt shunt connected motor is started by means of a faceplate starter. The motor has an armature resistance of 0.5 ohms and a shunt field resistance of 180 ohms. The overloads are set at 150% of the full load current. If the motor has a full load efficiency of 90%, calculate the value of the start resistance. So most importantly, this is a, a shunt connected motor. And to calculate the start resistance, R start, this is the value of the resistors put in series with the armature in order to protect the motor. We have voltage divided by IA max minus RA. Right, so that's the, basically the formula we'll use to answer this question. And we'll obviously need to calculate um, IA max. And if you have a look over there, our um, overloads are set at 150%. So the 150 over 100 times armature current. So we still need to calculate armature current as well. Right, so we'll come back to these uh, calculations. Uh, first of all, we need to calculate the armature current. Okay, so to calculate the armature current, it's going to be IA is equal to IL minus I shunt. It's a motor, so it's minus. Calculate the supply current, it's power over voltage. And for a motor, we use input power. And we have V over R shunt. Right, so to calculate the input power, it will be the output power divided by the efficiency of 90%. Our output power is 15,000 watts divided by 0.9. That will give us our input power, which is basically 16,667 watts rounded off. Okay, I'm going to leave it in watts to make it easier for myself. All right, so let's have a look here. If we substitute everything, so the input power of 16667 watts divided by the voltage of 375 minus the shunt current the terminal voltage is going to be 375 divided by the shunt resistance and the shunt resistance is 180 ohms okay so therefore the supply current minus the shunt current that's going to be 44,445 minus 2,083. We end up with a normal armature current of 42,362. Now, we want to protect this motor. So to work out the uh, maximum current that the armature can reach, we take our overload, which is 150%, divided by 100 times the armature current. Um, the armature current was 42,362, 42,362, so therefore IA max will be equal to 63,543 amps. Right, now that we've got IA max, we can actually calculate the value of the start resistance. The terminal voltage is 375 divided by I max. 63,543 minus the armature resistance, which is the smaller resistance of 0,5. So therefore, the value of the resistance connected in series with the armature will be 5,402 ohms. All right, thanks guys for watching this video.